<laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, um, Councillor Bennett doesn't seem to be answering her phone either. So uh, I guess we'll get started. This should be a pretty quick meeting anyway. So uh, I will call today's Wednesday, January 13th, 2021 special meeting of Council uh, the, for the Town of Olds to order. Um, let's jump right in and I None. I would uh, take a motion to accept today's agenda. Councillor Blatt. I move that we accept uh, the special council meeting agenda for Wednesday, January 13th, 2021 as presented. Excellent. Thank you so much. Any questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor? And opposed? That motion is carried. All right, let's move right into bylaws. So, uh, to talk about bylaw 2021 03, establishing a, a council uh, committee of broadband investment. Uh, we're here to third reading. May I have a motion? Okay, I'm here. Sorry, I, oh. I was in a close, I was, they wouldn't let me in the meeting. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're on your iPhone. That is... I'm on my phone, yeah. Okay, not a problem at all. So um, I think what I'll do uh, with how I can't see you, uh, when I call for a vote, uh, just chime in if uh, you are opposed. And then it... I'll I'll putting four if I don't hear from you. Does that sound fair? Yes, thanks. Okay, so we've adopted the agenda already, Deb. Councillor Bennett story and uh, uh, we're coming along to um, uh, make a motion on third reading for the bylaw. Uh, Councillor Thompson. Uh, yes, Your Worship, I'd like to ask that the vote be recorded today and That's I do have a motion to amend that I'd like to propose. Okay, um, well let's do that first before we have the third reading. Okay, I would move that we remove after in 1.1 under composition, the words who were appointed to the deputy mayor schedule as per the October 26, 2020 organizational meeting of council. I do have comment if you wish. Okay. Okay. So the under composition, of course, it does, it does have that statement now and that would preclude me from participating. Yeah. Um, your Worship, the minutes of the special meeting of October 15th read, Councillor Ryan moves that based upon Councillor Thompson's violation of the Code of Conduct bylaws, that the Old Town Council issue Councillor Thompson a letter of reprimand and remove Councillor Thompson from the Deputy Mayor rotation uh, scheduled for 2021. Uh, Your Worship, I, I was duly elected, I ran, I was not acclaimed. I, I do not have a pecuniary interest, nor a conflict that would preclude me from being on this committee. Should this bylaw pass, I will be disadvantaged and less able to fulfill my duties as a counselor, and the damage will indeed be punitive. In essence, it is an additional sanction that I wish to um, not see uh, move forward. All right. Fair enough. Um, are there uh, questions or uh, queries with regards to the motion that uh, Councillor Thompson has put on the table? All right, seeing none. Uh, oh, so are Councillor Ryan, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I would like to have clarification. Is there, is he, is he asking for uh, an amendment to the motion or is he, speaking against the motion and why he should be preclu uh, precluded from the uh, from the committee. I believe what he's doing is asking for the bylaw to be amended to remove Correct. that portion of 1.1. Yes. So if we are happy with that, we should vote for it. If uh, we are not happy with that, we should vote against that motion. All right, any other 
Uh, Councillor Bennett, I obviously can't see you. Would you like to chime in or have any questions? Well, I'm curious why um, this comes up when we are supposed to have another motion on the floor and we've had legal opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am uh, curious why this is going forward. Okay. And the special meeting, the public does not see the votes, do they? In the special meeting, well, if it's asked to be recorded, yes. Uh, okay. In, yeah. Yeah, I'm just clarifying what, you know, it's a special closed meeting. So yeah. that's why I'm asking what, who sees what. Yeah. No, I'll allow the motion, but uh, like if everybody's happy with the amendment, then they should vote for this motion. If they're not happy with the amendment, and would like to see the bylaws stay as it is, uh, then you should vote against. Councillor Thompson. Uh, yes, Your Worship. Just in response to Councillor Bennett's comment, uh, the reason I brought it forward today is because when I asked on the 11th uh, whether this was an additional sanction or no. um, uh, you know punitive action, uh, your response was that it was in alignment with the previous sanction, and no. so. By reading the previous sanction, I, uh, I did want to make it perfectly clear that this was an additional sanction if yeah. it is not removed. I'm not quite sure that that's the case. I don't no, I don't agree that. with that at all. And we've had a legal opinion uh -huh. and uh, I'm, I'm just, yeah. Anyways, if that's right. what we're voting on, go for it. All right, more water than Harper than Blatt. Thank you, Worship. Um, at the October organizational meeting, uh, Councillor Thompson was not um, put on the deputy mayor um, uh, rotation. Time. And uh, so this committee is only a committee of who is the deputy mayor. So it's not an additional sanction. You're not a deputy mayor. You won't be a deputy mayor until if you run next year, possibly you whoever gets in next year, then you do the rotation of deputy mayor. But right now you're not on that rotation. So you're disqualified from being on this committee. Okay, thank you. Um, Councillor Harper. Thank you very much, Your Worship. I would like to note uh, to Councillor Thompson that this broadband investment committee is advisory in nature only and that any decisions by this committee must be brought back to a regular council meeting of which Mr. Thompson is part of that regular council meeting. And it doesn't preclude him from hearing the recommendations from this committee. And I could note as well that there are a lot of committees where we're not all part of, but recommendations do come to council for decisions. Excellent, very good point. Councillor Harper, Councillor Blatt. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. I'm just going to say that I concur. Um, Councillor Harper basically took the words out of my mouth, so I have nothing uh, additional to add to that. Excellent, thank you. Councillor Thompson. Uh, yes, Your Worship, my, my comment is, is this. Uh, later today, there's a meeting that's been called and there are topics that will be held in camera any time that the rest of council can receive uh, either a legal opinion or matters uh, that I can't and I'm the only one that's not able to participate, I do believe that does disadvantage me as a councillor. Okay. Um, okay, thank you for your opinion on that. I, I disagree, but uh, we can certainly uh, we have that on record. Uh, councillor Blatt. Well, I think it should be noted at this point in time, I believe that Councillor Thompson is still in fact be being paid out um, as his duties. I believe it's not until the end of February mm -hmm. that he is fully paid out by the Olds Institute for his executive director position. And until such time, he would still have a pecuniary interest in my opinion. And I believe that that should be recorded. I, I don't believe that until such time, he really would be participating in any of these conversations anyway. Excellent point as well. Thank you, Councillor Blatz. Councillor Thompson. I uh, thank you, uh, Councillor Blatz, for that comment. I have completed my working notice uh, with the Olds Institute and uh, any funds that they 
uh, owe me as a, a part of my termination is, um, I don't think is a valid point. I no longer work for the yeah. Institute. I have a record of employment and I'm no longer with them. Thank you very much, Councillor Overwater. Thank you, Worship. We have a legal opinion otherwise. So I'll, yeah. I would like to call a question. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so we have the motion on the table to change the uh, bylaws as written. Uh, so at this point in time, I'll call for a vote. All in favor and opposed. Opposed, Debbie. All right. So that motion has been defeated. Uh, just to record that. All right. Very good. So thank you very much. We will move along with um, for third reading. May I have that? Would somebody like to give me a motion for third reading? Councillor Overwater. Worship, yes, I will. I move that third reading be given to the Council Broadband Investment Committee Bylaw 2021-03 as presented. Excellent, thank you so much. Any questions, comments, concerns with regards to the existing bylaw? Uh, Councillor Harper, then Thompson. Just a comment uh, or a, a question to our CAO. So um, the bylaw is presented. Uh, we had a this or that under item 10, and we did make uh, the change as an amendment. Is that correct? The change. Uh... Yep, the change was made and the uh, document has was recorded by the Okay, so we just want I just wanted to make sure that the it document says, reads Yeah, I'll just review it. Number well, 10 says it. administration shall bring forward this file off for review prior to September 30th, 2021. Thank you. Excellent. Councillor Thompson. Uh, yes, your worship. Uh, my concern in general with this bylaw is that the general public has no real grasp of what is being entertained and has not been allowed any input. Consultation seems to have been replaced with the word in camera. No one has apprised the taxpayer of costs or discussion relative to uh, what is occurring. The material points of, of what may be reviewed by this committee is all done behind closed door. Um, I do have a couple of quick questions. Uh, Director Linderman, can you provide a breakdown of the legal costs the town has incurred um, as it relates to the forbearance or these matters? And, and likewise, could you also provide a breakdown of the costs the town has incurred to investigate, litigate, or disqualify me from these committees, these types of things? I'm not sure if we can do that. Uh, as as um, as Councillor Thompson may or may not be uh, aware of, uh, the MGA states that uh, uh, material matters with regards to for-profit corporations should most definitely be um, conducted in, in closed doors. Uh, the, we will get to a point where uh, we will be able to make the, the subject matter in-camera discussions uh, public. And at that point in time, when our legal team tells us that it's prudent to do so, we will divulge that information to the, to the public. Um, first, I have Councillor Ryan, then Harper, then Thompson. Yes, point of order, Your Worship. I uh, do not believe that uh, that which Mr. Thompson has raised uh, has anything to do with the bylaw. Uh, we should be speaking only to the bylaw and not raising information uh, that uh, is not relevant. Fair point. Very good. Thank you. Councillor Harper, then Thompson. Uh, exactly my point of view. The, the questions are not relevant to the motion on the table. Excellent. And if Mr. Thompson wants to bring those uh, items up in a regular council meeting, he can have them added to the agenda. Thank you. Councillor Thompson. Your Worship, I, I disagree wholeheartedly. The matters of forbearance are listed as part of the mandate of the committee. Mm -hmm. The costs associated with the work of the committee and what it is reviewing is definitely um, relevant to this conversation. The yep. costs for opinions and such to preclude me from participating are also, I think this, 
this council is not being transparent. I think it has a duty to uh, to uh, be more transparent, and I do believe my questions should be answered. Um, I do again uh, completely disagree with you. The MGA is very on this matter with regards to uh, discussions for for-profit corporations, and uh, we will. Uh, this council, Councillor Thompson, you've you've been reprimanded wholeheartedly in the past for making claims that this council is not transparent uh, when when we are allowed to be under the MGA. Um, this information will all come to light in due course and the public will be made aware of it when it is legally prudent to do so. All right. Uh, I have Councillor Blatz then. Uh, I have a point of order mm -hmm. as well. Could we get on with the motion that's on yeah. the table, please? That was my point of order. Question, I'll do that. I think Mary, I think Councillor Overauder has said call the question. I it should have ended all debate at that point in time. That exactly. was not the last motion. I haven't had to call the question this motion, but if somebody would like to do that. Well, that was going to be my point then. Let's call the question. Call the question. All right. So we have a, a vote for call the question. Can we deal with the call the question first? Councillor Thompson, I do see your hand. If I think I should be given the opportunity to respond. Defeated, if the call the question is defeated, then you will be allowed to speak. If not, then we will move to the vote. Um, so we... Uh, a call to question uh, on the floor. All in favor? Yay, Debbie. And opposed? It is carried. So we do have a motion for third reading as uh, presented. So at this point in time, I will um, call. All in favor? Yay, Debbie. And opposed? And that motion is carried. So that brings us to adjournment. May I have a motion for adjournment, please? I so move, Debbie. Councillor Bennett, seeing so she, uh, we can't see her. So let's uh, vote on adjournment. All in favor? Debbie, and, yay. And opposed. All right, that motion is carried. Thank you so much. And uh, for a special meeting. Thank you.